right, so here I'm doing the video for the um, clutch and flywheel which I've got for the NSX. Now I've just take this apart. <clears throat> I should do what I need for around 500 horsepower plus, brand new XTD for the six speed. Got the six puck unsprung. I like unsprung. I think it's got an increase of like 40% or something over stock, which is enough. So that's just about right. Over right there. Nice. Now, this flywheel was actually a dual mass flywheel, which I have had changed and converted. I took all, had it all machined, had the inner springs taken out and everything and it's been not only welded but it's been uh, shimmed in the center and bolted. We're going to put a new bearing in, that's not in there all the way. All balanced up um, to less than 0.5 of a gram at some certain speed. I've got a spec sheet for it but this is basically better than OEM. Um, this is already how this came, obviously dual mass. These are where the springs would have sat in here, two springs. So yeah, that's that, and that's, instead of being like almost 15 kilo, that's now 10 kilo. So we're taking about five kilo of weight out of it, four or five kilo of weight out of that. Um, it's all skimmed, all fresh, everything. And obviously this will come off, this is just to uh, stop it from rusting. So yeah, that's, um, a nice little assembly, perfect for the six speed transmission. And that just goes on there, where am I from? On there, like that. Obviously, once the bolts are in, it'll draw it down a little bit. Nice little assembly. And I've got an OEM um, blueprint. Uh, clutch release bearing as well. That's it. We go on my insects. Nice little addition. Should be quite nice and grippy. Another little job on the insects today. I've just removed the aerial. And I didn't realise it actually had a uh, electronic boot release. But I've just realised it's on the inside of the door. I'll show you. On the inside of the door, right down there, that button there. Inside my car at a minute. I've got Ricaros to go in. Signed. I'm not sure the best way to um, cover this up. Maybe PPF or I don't know if I put any solvent like lacquer or anything on it, whether it will wipe it off. So it's been marked already. Guy who designed the NSX, Uehara. Yeah, cleaning here, just cleaned it a little bit, a bit dirty. So, yeah, alright. Um, don't know whether to cut this out to like boot floor mount a um, intercooler. Well, I could put one there, you know, and then plate that off. I'm not really too sure that might be a better option to be fair. And what have I got behind here? Not much, it's pretty empty. There's a little brace going from there to there, but I could fit two intercooler pipes out of here. One would come round and go straight into there, one would go into the supercharger. That might be an option. Or there is this space here which is looking fairly big. The only problem with putting that one there is the airflow to it, and I have got airflow here. So, yeah, I'm not too sure. Might do that. Obviously, you've got the airflow from the vent there, and possible airflow. If I open that up, that goes, I think, up there too. I could open that up and um, make more airflow in there. So, yeah, might put one here, but put fuel lines here. Might be a bit of a, it might be a bit of a tight squeeze. Not sure.